Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Board brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, and it's uh, January 25th. Hey, uh, we got no economic news for this schedule today, so we'll kind of have a uh, short one here today. Uh, stock market's up, uh, way up. Uh, Dow actually topped 20,000 for the first time today. We got NASDAQ and S&P also in record territory. So I guess the next level up that the media will be playing on will be the $21,000 $21, level here. So And basically it's taking its cue from obviously corporate earnings because we had no data today. So corporate earnings are coming really well. Uh, you know, Boeing came in really some good numbers here. And then also uh, Donald Trump met with the uh, the big three uh, auto makers uh, yesterday and basically it came out pretty positive. Basically he's uh, ensuring them that he's going to, try to make things a lot more palatable for them to bring back the jobs here so we can create more jobs across the US. You know, he, he's talking about the short-term jobs with the construction, but also he's looking more towards the uh, the longer-term jobs, uh, you know, like the factory workers and manufacturing and stuff like that. So uh, he wants to give them tax cuts, um, make it easier via the EPA, uh, kind of stream that line through, uh, basically, you know, uh, Try to make things work. Uh, that works for both parties. You know, uh, obviously we don't want pollution stuff like that. But he basically said that um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. He'll let them up front rather than running them around for years and then uh, come back and say they're not going to get their EPA permit. So uh, basically, you know, he's going to try basically uh, speed up the process for them and try to bring those jobs back here. So, anyways, uh, to kind of get into it. Uh, Basically, the markets are feeling pretty good about where things are going, and of course, now they're taking off. So, um, of course, this all comes at the expense of bond market. So, bond market, as you see, we dropped below the 50 day booming average yesterday. We had a reprice for the worse. Uh, today, we start out even lower, and now we're uh, up against this uh, the first floor uh, re uh, of support. And we're down below that. So we're down about 19 basis points from where we left off yesterday, which translates to higher interest rates. Uh, now our next floor support is here at the 101.44, uh, actually. It's 101.44. That's a good 50, uh, about 50 basis points, which is almost a half a point in terms of pricing. So uh, hopefully we can hold this. But uh, we got some uh, help on the way, possibly. We got the Fed that's going to buy about $2 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities. Uh, later today, and then uh, also the uh, Treasury is going to be selling the five-year uh, Treasury notes. So uh, later today, so those will have an influence on the market. So hopefully we can get some uh, close above this uh, first level of resistance. So if you're uh, got any interest rates, you're floating or anything like that, be very cautious today. Uh, if this, if we basically close below this, we have a long ways where we could drop further um, as the, you know things are looking pretty bright right now. Uh, people are still in this euphoric uh, mood since the election and uh, Trump's implementing a lot of big things here. So uh, it's getting a lot of people kind of excited. And of course, that's, uh, you know, the good thing is that the stock market's taken off. But again, at the flip side, it's uh, at the expense of interest rates here. And the interest rates are rising here for people who want to buy homes or those who want to refinance. So anyways, uh, if you guys, uh, this kind of concludes our um, video here. If you guys want to get updates throughout the day, I do post throughout the day on Twitter. You can find me at Mike Bjork on Twitter and uh, get further updates throughout the day. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.